What's up, ladies and gents? Welcome back to the Pot on the Go Show. I'm your host, Raz. This week, we've been talking about production and just production basis, how you can improve your podcast and level it up. I've been trying to give you some practical advice and notes on things that I've learned as a podcast producer over the past, you know, I don't know, seven, eight years now. So, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed it because today is another episode of your favorite podcast sucks. And if your favorite podcast is the Mark Marin W2F po- WTF podcast, then your favorite podcast sucks. And I'm going to tell you why. Okay, number one, and I talked about this last week briefly, but you have to pay for it. You know, like what podcast do you have to pay for? Podcasting should be free. Maybe it's just me being, I don't know, optimistic. And that's a dumb idea. You know, nothing, I I know what they say, nothing, you know, everything has a price. Nothing valuable is free or something like that. I don't know. It's a lot of things like that. There's no free lunch. But it's just, why is, why is this a paid podcast? I'm not getting anything different on the WTF podcast than I am on any other podcast. It's not like he's getting incredible guests that I can't hear their story or see their work anywhere else, you know? So, like, paying for a podcast to me just seems like like blasphemy as a person who's, like, in this, in this industry, deep and heavy, right? It just seems like blasphemy. It seems like... It seems like he's trying. He doesn't trust us to support him, so he's trying to take the money from us if we want to hear something. Hear his interview of like a favorite actor of ours, or a favorite musician, or artist, or a podcast, or athlete, or whatever politician, whoever he has on there. You know, so it doesn't to me. It just just doesn't, doesn't make sense to pay for this one. I, I've paid for a podcast in the past. You know, uh, if one I think one Dan Carlin episode, Hardcore History. But his is like a dollar. Mark's is, and I, he does it through, let's see if I can figure it out really quick. But he does it through, I want to say, hold on, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out right now. Let's do it together because I got got my little desktop capture. So this is this is the WTF website. All right, I'm just scrolling down. Some of the names, Heidi Streck, don't know who that is. Frank Langella, heard of him before. Um, David Cross, of course, I've heard of him. But these are people, Lewis Black, Patty Smith, I don't know who that is. But it's like, these are people you can hear on any anything else. There's nothing special about it. So if I want to listen to the J.K. Simmons podcast episode, go premium. Okay, start your free trial. It's through Stitcher. So that's what I was getting at. It's $5 a month, $35 a year. I'll never pay that. I'm sorry, J.K. Simmons. I loved your work. And Spider Man and the the one with the drummer where you're a musician. That was an amazing movie. I loved it. I was enthralled by it. I love your commercials, but I will never listen to this podcast. I promise you. Not through Stitcher, not for J.K. Simmons, not for Mark Man. It doesn't make sense to pay for it when I can just Google J.K. Simmons and I could read his life story. I could watch his movies. I, I could pay for a movie, but I'm not going to pay for a podcast. Podcasts should be free. It's the oldest form of communication. And the human existence, oral, oral communication, passing down history and stories orally. It's always been free. It's the way that we continue to grow as a species by communication. It's the way that, that arguments are, it's the way that wars are started, wars are began. It's the way that you find a spouse by being able to talk to her and communicate with her. It's the way that, you know, conflicts are solved, resolutions come about negotiations like oral like being able to communicate and this oral history that we have is it's it's a way of life it's it's what makes us human and you got you got charged for it maybe that's a stretch but i'll I'll never pay for it i think podcasting should be free now if you want to do a podcast and you know charge for extra extra content that makes a lot more sense to me you know but just charging for the, the main episode and leaving the first few free and then charging for anything in the past, that doesn't make any sense. Like what if, say, say for instance, that hearing J.K. Simmons' life story will inspire me to be a better person, but I don't have the money to pay $5 a month or $35 a year. I'm not going to listen to it. And then my life is, isn't going to be changed because of it. You know, say that, you know, seeing J.K. Simmons on, who else, who else was on here? 
that was free. Or not free. Okay, so David Cross won't be free. Say I'm a 13-year-old and I want to go into comedy and I've always loved David Cross's work and every show he does. In a month, this will be so many episodes down and won't be free anymore and I'm going to completely miss that interview. You know, you have a chance to impact the world. You have a chance to change the lives of people and you don't even know it. But people aren't going to pay for that. People won't pay a dollar for apps on the, you know, on, on the iTunes, on the Apple Play Store, or whatever it's called. You know, they're not going to pay five dollars to hear David Cross talk when they can get his the same content in so many other places. It doesn't it just doesn't make sense to me. It just doesn't make sense. OK, number two. Why does podcast sucks? And that's any podcast. I would say it sucks if they charge for their main content. If you are producing epic content like hardcore history, you, you charge a dollar for it after a year of it being free. That's different. Because he, he, that's like college level work. Uh, that's a thesis he's doing, or every every episode he puts out, he's going in so much detail and so much research, things that you can't find anywhere else. That's worth more than a dollar, honestly. But this, where you're just interviewing a person, a friend that you talked to before, and that we've heard on other interviews, and you, you want me to pay five dollars for it, that doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense. So yeah, your podcast sucks because of that. Uh, it's a weird choice of who's who's free and who's who's paid for. They're not all the same. I wonder what that's about. Maybe he talks about it in the episode, but I haven't listened to one in a while. But like, if you go through all the orange ones uh, are premium. You know, Seth Rogen is free. Why is that? You know, Jim Carrey's free. John Legend is free. Carl Reiner is free. Uh, George Lopez is paid for. <laughs> you know? Who else we got? Janelle Monet is paid. Stacey Abrams is free. Could that be, you know, like, why? Why is Stacey Abrams free? That doesn't make any sense. That's from last year. So maybe she was doing some kind of, she was doing a political run trying to win whatever election she was going for. It didn't work. But, you know, Jerry Seinfeld is free. Cool. Like, all these people are cool, I'm sure. I'm sure great interviews. But, like, why are some free and why are some paid? So it's just it's just weird. You know, I don't want, you know, anybody pushing a political agenda to be free when if I want to hear about, you know, Helen Mirren or Marsha War or Ice-T, I want to hear about his too, even though he's not pushing a political agenda of some type, you know? So what else? So let's take it back. So yeah, it's a weird choice of what's free, what's premium, what do you have to pay for, what can I watch right now? I don't like that either. And lastly, it's just another podcast. I'm going to continue to talk about this over and over again. There's so many podcasts out there that are just adding to the noise. Mark has had a couple of really, a lot of great interviews, I'm sure. But, he, you know, that's, what was this? Uh, the most recent was, was, the most recent number was 1,200, 1,205 episodes. That's incredible, right? That's incredible. Incredible. I can't even say how incredible it is with the big name stars. And I'm sure his platform is just, you know, he's had the president on there. He had some of my favorite actors on there. It's incredible. It really is a, a feat. He should be awarded for that. Some and just for the success of it. But it's just another podcast. There's when I listen to his show, there's no difference between, you know, listening to this and watching Ellen or watching, you know, some other the view. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just a longer form content with a guy. But it's still the same. It's the same. It's the same media you can get everywhere else. When I think of a podcast, I think of somebody diving into a con a topic or content that's gonna give me something different. It's gonna be it's gonna be new. It's gonna be different. It's gonna be a different perspective. But when I listen to and and even just like looking at who it is, it is all these big stars, but it's real, it just feels Hollywood. And me being Southern. I don't really care for Hollywood too much anymore. You know, why are these people so much better than us that just because they can act or better than a plumber or better than an electrician who's doing great work in their community just because they can act, you know, just because more people know them. So they make more money, they're more successful and they have a bigger platform. It doesn't make any sense. And that's starting to get on my nerves a little bit that certain people have so much power in the world and they use it for, you know, personal gain. 
Anyway, that said, it's just another podcast. It's nothing special or great about the Mark Marin WTF podcast, you know, it, other than it's, it's long running and it's, I mean, it's successful. I can't, I can't knock that. You know, look at his numbers and look at mine. <laughs> That's no contest. But I'm, I feel like I'm putting out something different. I feel like I'm doing something unique, something special versus just doing the same thing over and over forever that you can find anywhere else. If I want to see in, an interview with Jim Carrey or Tim Allen or Melissa Leo, I can find that in a lot of places. It doesn't, you know, I can find it in a lot of places. So why, number one, why do I have to pay for it? Um, why do you get to decide what's free? Everything should be either paid for or free. And then lastly is that it's just, it's, when I listen to it, it's nothing, it's nothing special. You get lost you zone out. When I listen to a podcast and I start zoning out, that's a that's a bad podcast. When I listen to a show, I can zone out and think about other stuff. If I'm driving, I'm actually thinking about driving instead of listening to the podcast. So that is, um, yeah. So if Mark Maron is your favorite podcast, I think it sucks. Okay, next. And lastly, this is kind of a caveat. And I'm going to tell you why. Um, and it's with the holy host of others standing around me. Still, I'm on the dark side of the moon. And it seems like it goes, seems like it goes on like forever. You must forgive me if I'm up and gone to Carolina in my mind. James Taylor, Carolina in my mind. That is one of my favorite songs. Weird, right? You might not expect that, but it's one of my favorite songs for a few reasons. Um, number one, the biggest reason is because we played it. I was in a band in college at Carolina, UNC Chapel Hill, Tar Hills, and we played we played it at the end of every game. I played uh, the marching band, so played tuba. And at the end of every football game, whether we win or we lose, we play Carolina in my mind. At the end of every basketball game, whether we win or lose, every soccer game, every baseball game, every volleyball game, every whatever, every whatever pet band gig we went to, we play Carolina in my mind at the end of every one. And so I've played that song probably hundreds of times and listened to it hundreds of times at this point. You know, being in, being from Chapel Hill. Or not being from Chapel, but living in Chapel Hill and working in Chapel Hill for, you know, six, seven years of my life, eight years really almost. I take that back. About seven years of my life, you know, I would cross over the James Taylor Bridge on a regular basis, and I never knew who he was. I, the, even the James Taylor Kill Out of My Mind song never really resonated until I heard his episode on the Mark Man podcast. You know, back in October twenty second of twenty fifteen. One of the best podcasts I've ever listened to. I still think about it to this day, just hearing about his story, James Taylor's story, hearing about, um, you know, his his history with drug use, his, his, his former marriages, all that stuff, his kids, his father. It was impactful, you know, and then that coupled with the love I have for the song Carolina in my mind, it became one of my favorite podcast episodes ever. And the WTF podcast did that, you know, created that. But guess what? You have to pay for that podcast now. So anybody else leaving the you know alumni, band alumni from the University of North Carolina Chapel Hill will never hear the episode. And they'll never have the same effect that it has had on me because it's paid for, because it's free, because WTF sucks. Except for that episode and a few other episodes. Yeah. So, yeah. And also, like, this quote right here, that's how I felt. I've lived in Savannah, Chicago. My wife and I, son, like we've moved, we moved, I want to say eight or nine times in 10 years. And really, really less than that because we lived in Savannah in one place for four years. So by the time my son was five, I think we moved eight times. It was crazy. It was crazy there for a little while. And every everywhere I went, I always had a, a, a want to come back to North Carolina. It's just home. And that's how I felt. No matter how many people I met in these other cities, no matter how many friends I made or experience, good experiences that I had, I always felt like I was on the dark side of the boot. You know, that's just that's just how I felt. And that is, you know, so that's why the song speaks to me. And that's why I love North Carolina. And that's why I'm glad that I'm here and I can start adding to the community and I can start keep continuing to produce this podcast and bring you guys something that's unique and different. Uh, yeah, so that'll be it for today. You know, thank you guys for watching. I'm Raz, host of pod on the go.com. 
host of <laughs> I'm Raz, host of I'm Raz, host of the Pod on the Go show. You can check me out at podonthego.com. If you need help with live streaming or producing a podcast, you can also reach out to me at info at podonthego.com. And yeah, so thank you guys for watching as usual. I appreciate you. Peace out.